All right, welcome everybody to our last official session of the day. We do have a post uh, day activity, but I'm not counting that as, as an actual session. So today's our um, prizes and wrap up for today. Um, and I appreciate you guys sticking with me throughout the day today. Hopefully you learned a lot of stuff. I know I did. So um, I'd like to once again, thank our sponsors, Longsight, Learning Experiences, Blindside, EDF, LAMP, and Warpwire um, for making this event possible and for um, providing our meeting space and our swag and um, our other expenses related to the conference like registrations and um, crowd per trivia games and things like that. So um, thank you, thank you to all of our sponsors for your generous support of our event. I'd also like to thank all of you guys. So everybody on the planning team, um, all of our session moderators and facilitators, our 20 plus, I think we're up, it was like 24, 25 presenters, um, and approximately 200 registered attendees. So we still had people registering throughout the day today. So we were creeping up closer and closer to 200. Um, so I, I thought that was really great turnout. Um, I noticed, especially in some of the um, earlier sessions before we lost a lot of the European folks, I'm thinking um, we had uh, quite a bit of, of attendance in the sessions. So that's awesome. Um, and we are going to record all the sessions and post them later for folks who couldn't make it to all of them. So again, thank you all for attending. It wouldn't be a conference without you. So um, your, your participation is really what makes it all work. So thank you very much. Now let's get to the good stuff. So prizes. Um, this year, to make it easy, um, instead of having different prizes for different things, um, we decided to just do one level of prize. So anybody that wins anything, this is what you get. You get your choice of a $30 Giftogram e-card. And Giftogram is a, um, a type of card where you can choose from all different types of uh, like gift cards. So you can choose from a whole bunch of different stores and restaurants and whatnot um, to redeem your $30. Uh, unfortunately, it's only US and Canada. So if you're outside of the US and you want a gift card, I'm gonna have to send you Amazon. <laughs> So, um, or if you just prefer Amazon, because I know I do most of my shopping on Amazon, um, we can just give you a $30 Amazon e-card, or we can send you this uh, limited edition Sakai Virtual Conference 22 hoodie. So if you prefer, um, you know, a hoodie to a gift card, um, you'll get to make that choice. So I'll reach out to all of our winners after the event to see which one they prefer. Um, and if you happen to win more than one thing, you can choose two different prizes. So this is a per prize choice here um, if for any of our winners. So um, for the trivia contest, we had, um, uh, again, our reigning champion of trivia there, Christina, came in at first place. And then our second place point getter in the trivia contest was Daniel Marino. And our third place person in points was Jennifer Luidiana. So um, you guys won our trivia contest and you'll get your choice of those um, three different prizes. So you'll just need to let me know which one you prefer. Um, and now for the um, scavenger hunt, um, hopefully you guys had a chance to check out some of the pages and vote. I had to tally whatever votes were there at 3 p.m. so that I could have it in my slides for now. Um, but our scavenger hunt winner in terms of votes, our first place winner is Bonnie Powers. Our second place winner is Cassandra Whiteman. And our third place winner is Corey Bauer. So if you guys haven't looked at their pages, let's take a quick peek. Um, let me just pop out of full screen. And let's see. Oh, I don't have the site up over here. So let's go take a quick look at their, um, let's view as a student so it's easier to see. Um, let's go to the scavenger hunt and we'll take a quick look at Bonnie Powers. And oh, look at those babies. <laughs> 
And she did a nice little list over here on the side. Highlight below to see the answer. It's very cool. So she kind of did a collage. That's very clever. All right, let's see. How do we? Not quite sure how I highlight. Oh, do I have to click on it? Yeah, just highlight with your mouse. Um, oh, you click the link. Yeah. It's my favorite book. <laughs> huh. Okay. Cool. Very clever. So you won our first place um, scavenger hunt prize. Very nice. Um, and then our second place was Cassandra. So let's take a look at Cassandra's page. Lots of pictures here. Aww. <laughs> I love that one. Very nice. The dog with socks. Are those Sakai socks? They look like they could be. The colors are right. <laughs> Very cute. Very nice. And then Corey was our third place. But again, you guys all get the same swag for prizes. Look at Corey's. All right. Very nice little banner up there. Some music and podcasts, a little avatar and some pets. Very cute. I like it. Very creative. Thank you, Corey. All right. So those are our winners. Um, and I want to encourage all of you to come back tomorrow. We've got some more great content planned. We have our Xerti workshop, which is at 10 a.m. Eastern. It's a two hour session and we're going to take a deep dive into Xerti and you'll see a little bit more examples of what you can do, but you'll also get a chance to actually build a learning object and hook it into Sakai via LTI so you can see how the grades um, transfer back and forth. Well, back, I guess, it, grade sync, not, they don't really go from Sakai to Zerte. They just go from Zerte to Sakai. But anyway, um, and, uh, and then we also, in the afternoon, have our materia workshop from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. So if you saw their um, lightning talk this morning, um, so a lot of really cool widgets. We'll get to play with some of them, and you can see how you can create widgets, modify widgets, um, and drop them into a Sakai course as a web link. Uh, we don't have the LTI working yet, but it should be available like within two to three weeks. It's that close. So um, you know we might have a slight delay with with Thanksgiving next week, but it's like right on the horizon having the, the LTI working with Sakai. We just didn't have time to get it up and running for the, for the workshop tomorrow. So um, anyways, if you'd like to try that out, you'll have an opportunity again to you know, get in there, play with actual material. We're going to have accounts set up. Um, if you know that you're planning to attend either of those sessions, please fill out the poll um, in the conference site to let us know that you'll be there so we can get a head count um, just for planning. Um, and make sure we get all your accounts and everything um, created ahead of time. So um, we're also going to have a couple rounds of online quiz bingo and more prizes. So if you um, want one of those hoodies, you still got a chance. You can come back tomorrow and, and play quiz bingo and maybe get a hoodie. So um, don't miss out on all of the fun and uh, great content we have planned for you tomorrow. And, um, and finally, I just want to give a quick teaser. If you do want to stick around for a little bit longer, um, I know a lot of you are probably wiped, especially if you're in a time zone like poor Shoji, where it was like the middle of the night. But uh, hopefully you've got a little bit of energy left because Sakaiger needs you. Sakaiger has been infected with the zombie virus, and you got to save him in 60 minutes or less. So um, you'll get a chance to play through an online escape room created using Xerti. Um, it's all original content. So um, if your team, and we're going to put people in teams depending on how many folks we get, um, if your team finds the cure in time, you also get a prize. So again, more hoodies up for grabs. Um, so join us in the online escape room coming up in just a few minutes um, for our uh, you know, fun activity to round out the day. So, um, so again, thank you everyone for attending today. I hope you'll come back tomorrow and I hope
hopefully see most of you over in the escape room at, um, I believe it starts at 3.50. So you've got a 20 minute break if you wanna go grab a cup of coffee or something um, in between. So, all right, see you there.